What's up traders? Julian here from jlewistrading.com and today we're going to do a quick market review. As we know, it's a bit of a short week. Yesterday being a holiday, we are back today and markets are a bit thin. The S&P 500 still in that bullish move, banking right off of this 10-day exponential moving average, closing towards the top of its session. So we are seeing a bit of a uh, an uptick. You know, it did again put in its lows. I'm feeling like the S&P, once we get over this 29.07 uh, and we have that shift in momentum, the price action should no doubt tick higher, taking out uh, this level right through here of 29.17. So uh, anybody that's long the S&P right now, I mean, me personally, um, I would support that. Anything that you're looking at long right now, there's a lot of upside momentum in most stocks. Obviously, uh, we can call that simply because the entire S&P 500 is moving higher, which is just the net difference between more stocks being up than down. So uh, the S&P as a whole looking very, very healthy. Some of its key components also looking very healthy. Now, on the day trading side of things, uh, great move. Uh, we got this right off of our prop scan. Uh, this is MNKD. This is a low float volatile stock. Uh, we watched this thing uptick earlier on in the uh, morning, kind of move sideways. When that cash market opened right through there, uh, we were looking to just flag out of this thing. Uh, you can see it had a really nice pop, pulled back, held that VWAP consolidated, and then just moved higher into the close. As a day trade, obviously, you would have been wanting to take your profits closer to words um, the end of the session. However, there were some jocks that were a little bit difficult to surf. This right here was a very, very sort of precarious little candle uh, that suggested a turnaround. Momentum was peeling back just a bit, but you can see that it just rang off that 50-day uh, that simple moving average on that five-minute chart and then continued its trend. So MNKD, a lot of the J. Lewis trading members were actually hitting this, talked to a couple people today that hit this, did quite well. Uh, so if you were in MNKD, good work. Uh, if you're just watching the review and you have no idea how to get in front of these trades, by all means, email me. I'm at info at jlewistrading.com. Uh, we also, um, last night actually, I sent out a, a trading video alert uh, to all of our members. And uh, there were two stocks out of the six that I sent out that actually fared quite well today. The first one is ACRX. And um, on a daily chart, you can actually see right through here uh, that this thing hit our proprietary trigger. And uh, at 315, this was a long trade closing at that 331 level. So not up a ton, but it was up 15 cents uh, for the day, it just more or less moved straight up. Uh, you can see it was up about 6.5% on the day. Uh, this is a longer swing trade that we're looking at. Um, you can see that some of these prior levels, though, uh, sort of short-term structured resistance was taken out. And we've got sort of a microphone check of about 334 right through here that will probably get checked and taken out tomorrow. And it will continue its trend. Uh, no surprise that that 315 level got taken out. You can see that we got these higher lows and the momentum is definitely geared towards the upside. Um, second stock, AS, whoops, AS and A, uh, was it also a little bit of a breaker right through here. Uh, you can see that we're calling for this flag to break out of resistance. So right as of right now, we've hit that, that little bit of a reversal. You can see we've got a rounded bottom. We've got a rounded bottom in the momentum. And as of right now, not only has it broken trend line resistance, but it's taken out this little previous pivot high uh, of 466. And I'm talking about pivot high of this particular candle. And uh, it's taken out that level of 466 along with that trend line resistance. Uh, we're looking at 492 long. Should that get taken out, we'd be taking out a short-term structured level of resistance. And this thing could take a bit of a run to the upside. So um, we put that out yesterday uh, along with ACRX. And those were both two video alerts where I did a full analysis on what could potentially happen at specific levels. Sent that out to our members. And right now we are looking at uh, two of the six stocks that we mentioned are starting to break out. And you know those alerts, they're priceless. Um, on ACRX, even just a few thousand shares, that one trade 
on that one day would have taken care of your entire membership fee for the trading alerts. It's something to think about. So if you're in a situation where you want to trade the markets, but you don't have a ton of time to put into the market to do the research and you're needing a little bit of help and just sort of you want to be given some opportunities, by all means, contact us and uh, we can let you know how to get involved with not only our Ask a Trader webinars, but also our live video trading alerts. If you have any questions about this video or the stocks that we're trading, by all means, email me. I'm at info at jlewistrading.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on and in the description box below, by all means, sign up for our free webinars and uh, all of our social media stuff that you can follow us and see what we're doing uh, throughout the day. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next market recap.